What's up, YouTubers? We're going to take a brief snap view of the Ketuo Soul Stone designed by Kevin Beard of Doom. So, this is a fantasy inspired but modern design and take in terms of the, the materials, what it can do, and uh, in terms of some of the action and all that sort of stuff. So, let's just jump right into it. First, let me go ahead and pause here and I'm going to try to get that right to show what comes in the box okay and post unboxing in fast let's just talk first about the uh, action of this and the deployment the action is really good it is very heavy knife 8.4 ounces um it's quite large it's, it's pretty close to basically a four inch long blade here and uh I, it's pvd coated i think it was stone washed after that um the pvd coating is good i've used it just briefly and it has had no problems wearing off or any of that so i think in terms of the the pvd um, it's been pretty good. Physical Vapor Dispersion, I think, is what that stands for. Um, not to be confused with DLC, but I think DLC is technically a type of PVD. I'm not entirely sure. They're kind of used separately. So this knife looks a little bit like a hand grenade out of the box, and it has very specific grip here that if you kind of take a look at the grooving, um, to be used as an attitude adjuster, I think that's what uh, Kevin calls this, is something that could certainly break glass or, like I said, add a, a, adjust somebody else's attitude. So out of the box, that's what you're going to get. In terms of the action, it has a front flipper right there, which works great on the thumb. Um, I have learned, we'll try it with my finger. Yeah, it's, it's, I won't say it's a dangerous operation, but you want to be very careful and really wrap your fingers on the... The, the clip there, the pocket clip there, and you can do that. But the, fr the front flipping works great. Right-handed, left-handed, works fantastic. Um, and then it has this really nice fuller here, which has good, solid friction. So it's kind of, I won't say sharp, but it's got good friction for grabbing there. You can deploy it with your thumb. Works great. And then the backside spidey flick. Works fantastic. So in terms of the deployment and modernness, this Soul Stone has everything did i mention this is the soul stone um made by ketuo 9 designed by kevin i don't know this is a first impression it's not a full carry i have not had a chance to do a full carry i've had a chance to do a little bit of use on this one so we talked about the deployment a little bit let's talk a little bit about this blade pretty close to four inches haven't done a full measure i think it's it's definitely in excess of three and a half and i think it's just maybe a little less than four um it is a worn cliff blade very straight, very nice. It came out of the box super sharp. Definitely cuts very well. Um, it has these these grooves here that can be used for. It, you can do a full choke up if you need to. And the great thing about worn cliffs is that they're really good for doing draw cuts. And you can kind of reach up on that one. I think that's what this particular one is for. Um, this groove, I think, when I saw Kevin using it, and your hand fits in there nice and comfortably. Safely keep your hand on the blade. Um, and we'll definitely do draw cuts and that sort of thing. You could do the same thing, but be a little, a little bit higher at a lower angle. Um, this wouldn't necessarily be a place to, to rest your thumb. I think your thumb would really go on this jimping up here. This jimping is really nice. Um, yeah, that, that kind of shows it pretty well. It's not like too aggressive. It hurts, but kind of, it has kind of a flat here. Um, oh yeah, we can see it. And then it kind of is, has a little cant on each side of those. So you got, you got the gripping, but you don't lose your surface area. Sometimes jimping can be too, too steep there or, or um, too aggressive and it'll actually hurt. And so this one does not hurt. I definitely did some kind of hard push cutting like that and it feels really good. The jimping is grip, um, would be good in gloves, but you know, it doesn't hurt. So that's a great thing as far as the blade goes there. We talked about the fuller. Um, I will jump briefly into the kind of the one drawback on this fuller and with the good friction that it does have here is when you're, when you're kind of trying to cut down boxes, it works better if you're kind of cutting away from, uh, if you're cutting away from it, because when you're cutting down and oftentimes when we're cutting down on boxes, we're going this way. When it does get a hold of this fuller, those kind of grab and grip, you know, anytime you have friction, it's kind of a trade-off. 
So, you know, a wide, a wide blade, and this is a quite thick blade uh, of 3 sixteenths. Um, it, it's just, it's definitely less than a quarter, uh, but pretty approaching that. And like I said, when I do a full review, it's just, it's just not going to be this year. So I'm not going to have time. I um, just want to give kind of, like I said, a, a, a fairly brief but fairly thorough initial um, view on this in case you're, you're wondering. It is huge in the hand. Um, oh, so let me finish that. Sorry. Um, that, that's kind of the one drawback on the blade that I can see is that it is with the wide stock and the nice fuller here, it can grab on material. So just be aware of that. You know, like I said, it didn't come into play a whole lot. This isn't the knife, to be honest, I'm going to be cutting and breaking down a whole lot of boxes with, you know, I'm going to be going for thinner blade stock and a different shape. Um, for those that know, you know, sheep's feet, sheep's foots and worn clothes are not the best. For going through that, you're going to want a, a kind of a standard drop point, spear point kind of blade is what's going to generally work because you want your blade to be kind of tipped up as you get down to the bottom. You're not basically dro dropping that, that super pointed tip. It's going to hit into the ground, concrete, whatever your, your box is on. So beyond the blade, um, we talked about the action a little bit. Um, the pocket clip I thought was, you know, on, on initial try was fine, held in great, you know, had great retention. Um, you know, kind of beat it up, grabbed on a couple things there. Um, so again, yeah, it's, it's starting to show just its first signs of snail trail low on that one. Um, it kind of provides a nice little over travel stop here um, because it's, it's, it's there. Uh, I haven't looked inside. I think it probably does. And I don't have my reading glasses. Sorry, I can't see it. But my guess is that it probably actually has an actual official one over there. And like I said, the full review will kind of demonstrate. Yeah, it does. Ooh, maybe. I don't know. I'm assuming so. Um, in any case, don't get caught. Look at the specs on the website. I, by the way, I will link the le the website for, to Ketuo. Um, these, are, I think, are part, uh, starting to sell pretty good. So you might want to get on it. If you're interested in this knife, it did cost $385. A decent price, but it uh, you're getting a, a lot of blade. I should say a decently high price, but you're getting a lot of you're getting a lot of blade and a lot of materials, manufacturing, and so forth. This is M390 uh, Super Steel. Uh, it has this nice full-length backspacer with something that you can tie your doodads in. Um, I'll definitely, before the full uh, review, I will go ahead and definitely see how easy it is to get through uh, Paracord 550. That looks like it's big enough to handle there. So, yeah, I love that kind of hidden. Anytime you have a hidden lanyard hole that is not intrusive, it's fantastic. Um, you know, never is going to be in contact with the blade. So that right there, I can tell you, is an, is an absolute A+. Plus probably on most knives and certainly all big knives, that sort of thing. As far as the handle and the grip goes, very comfortable in hand. Um, there wasn't any position that it wasn't really comfortable, especially gr great in a pull grip if you need to pull something. You know, again, this isn't quite maybe the optimal blade, maybe a little bit better than a drop point in terms of pull cuts because that will kind of gather material there. But yeah, excellent comfort, very wide. Um, I don't know how, I haven't measured the thickness on this, but boy, this is in excess of a half an inch and just quite wide. I'm okay with that because I'm used to carrying a kind of big fixed blades when I go out in the wild um, or go camping, etc. I'm not out in the wild. I go camping, so I go car camping. Um, but I am definitely used to used to nice thick blades. This is very comfortable. I couldn't find any hot spots really for me. There was no hot spot with the clip or any of that. So excellent ergonomics. This is uh, very long, so sorry, this is a, almost an eight minute first impressions, but I do have a lot of impressions from this from just a couple weeks of kind of handling it, carrying it a little bit. Um, it's heavy. Don't try to wear it with shorts. Um, that's the thing is it's the end of the summer and I am not going to be carrying this for the next, probably another month or so at a minimum. And uh, it's just quite heavy, 8.4 ounces, um, and it's a big boy, so it's going to be taking up a fair bit of pocket. But... It is, in fact, a big boy bruiser. So those are my initial impressions. I think it's it's definitely creative, modern, has you know some of, some of that fantasy. It's it's you know it's, it's certainly like a fantasy knife, but not fantasy junk by any means. Not something you're going to see at a gas station by any means. And it's an excellent frame lock, titanium. Uh, yeah, the construction I can tell you is really good, perfectly centered. Everything on this one screams it's going to be really good. You know, comes with a little bit of a price. Does have that one catch on there? Um, is is just that fuller, which is great for deployment. Does catch on material, specifically kind of paper and or things that are going to be not fully separated by the time they get to there. That's the only thing, man. I, I otherwise really enjoy it. Um, good job, Beard of Doom. I give it a thumbs up.